Hi everyone, Pete Kalamein here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So in today's video, I would like to talk briefly about how you can look at your assembled prototype, the one that you have soldered by hand, how to make sure or know before you are going to test it that there are any issues on the board. So I'm going to quickly go through some of the, the problems you can see or might spot on your prototypes so that you are ready before you even test your board. Let's dive into it. If you have done a lot of soldering, you will know this. Uh, and you will get the creeps if you see some of these pictures because they will be very familiar to you. Um, but let's start with how a good solder joint looks like. So on top, what you see over there, um, so the, the green picture, let's say, that's a good solder joint. And on the right hand side as well, you see how an ideal solder joint uh, should look like. So you have the concave fillet, um, there's complete wetting at the bottom and you have a clean, bright and shiny um, surface. That is important. Underneath what you see are options where it can go wrong. So for instance, one side is covered, the other side is not covered. Um, a difficult one to spot sometimes is that the solder is not touching the pad. Solder sitting on the top, uh, too little solder, the pin not well wetted so that the solder is all around but not on the pin, um, or too much solder uh, touching other pads. So shorted pins, these are, let's say, more easy to spot. So you see it in the left hand picture. Let me indicate that for you. So this is one, this is a shorted pin. On um, TSOP and especially QFN packages, uh, you could also have these pins that are tied together. Then unconnected pins, uh, what they call a cold joint. Um, you have a dull look uh, for that soldering. So it's not a shiny and bright surface anymore. It looks more dull. Um, so the one in the middle is clear and this has seen too much temperature as well. Um, on the right, that's quite clear as well. So that's um, a cold joint that is still spotable. So you see that there is a break over there and yeah, these contacts or these pins are not connected as they should. Tombstoning. Um, so what will happen there is that your component will be uh, shifted upwards and only connected on one side. Uh, especially true if you're using very small components. So remember, if you can use relatively large components, so for instance 0603 rather than a 0201, then go ahead of course and do it with a 0603. That will avoid tombstone. So I hope you liked this video. Of course, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I am happy to help. If you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and of course, if you like the channel, feel free to subscribe. Maybe one more thing, if you enjoy this, if you enjoy watching these videos, but you would like to have a bit more of information, background on electronics and what have you, feel free to join my free community. The link is in the description of this video below. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.